Where did we come from? How did the universe begin? There are so many questions that humanity has been constantly trying to solve since the dawn of time. Let's take a look at some of the most incredible theories about our universe, starting with, are we inside a laboratory? Was our universe created in a laboratory and is there a great observer watching our every move? The Big Bang Theory is the best theory we have about the creation of our universe, but not everyone agrees. Almost a century ago, Albert Einstein himself started looking for alternatives to the Big Bang Theory. Einstein, the king of all the nerds, wasn't satisfied with the model. And in the years since Einstein declared his doubt, a lot of other theories about the creation of the universe have become mainstream. One idea is that the universe emerged from a vacuum fluctuation. Another theory is that it came out of a multiverse landscape in which everything that could happen has happened an infinite number of times. Some have even suggested that the universe came from the inside of a black hole. But what about a laboratory? It's entirely possible that an advanced civilization could have developed a technology to create a miniature baby universe. They may have used a system known as quantum tunneling. Scientists don't know much about this system, and for now, it's all hypothetical. Scientists can't even figure out how to rectify the issue of quantum gravity and quantum mechanics. For that matter, scientists don't know what over 70% of the matter in the universe does. They call it black matter, but its function and properties are unknown. Maybe humans and our cozy corner of the universe are just trapped in somebody's cosmic aquarium. And now for a quick break because I want to give a big shout out to Izarkmi and Alexander Vanden Boshnoa. Thanks so much for watching and spending time with us. And of course, for spreading the word and telling your friends. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join the family. We'd love to have you. Cosmic Inflation and the Big Bang. How did the universe begin? How will it end? These are some of the biggest questions we have. The origin of the human species is intriguing, but not nearly as vast of a mystery as the universe in its entirety. You've heard about the Big Bang Theory, but have you heard about Cosmic Inflation Theory? It could explain how the universe will cease to exist. The Big Bang is simple, controversial, and the best guess scientists have for how existence came to be in the first place. The idea is that the universe came into being when a singularity occurred. This was a hot point 13 billion years ago that suddenly exploded. Space didn't exist prior to this event. The singularity caused space to form from absolutely nothing. It's an insane theory because something cannot come from nothing. If you think about it, the Big Bang doesn't really make any sense. Something must have already existed to cause it. But then, what existed before the Big Bang that supposedly created the universe we know today? It's an unending spiral of what came first. How could the universe have possibly expanded from a tiny speck in the vast empty void of actual nothing? Scientists say it accounts for the continuous expansion of the universe. The Big Bang theory explains the faintly glowing resonance throughout the universe, which they believe to be residual heat from the bang itself. Cosmic inflation is an extension of the Big Bang. The theory says that the bang caused the universe to expand greatly in a fragment of a second. All the energy of space itself was then pushed outward in every possible direction. But after some time, the energy dwindled and the universe started to expand at a much slower pace. Cosmic inflation is the continuous expansion and cooling of the universe. One aspect of the theory is that at some point, the universe will cool completely and stop expanding. Then it will contract until it once again becomes an extremely hot singularity that's no larger than a pinprick. The idea is that once this happens, everything in the universe will be destroyed and another Big Bang will happen, restarting the cycle for the billionth time. The Disappearing Stars Imagine you're looking up at the night sky through a telescope in your backyard when you spot a twinkling star far away in the universe. But as you admire this distant ball of burning gas, it suddenly disappears. So, where did it go? Believe it or not, this phenomenon is happening all the time. Scientists continue to find stars that have suddenly vanished without leaving a trace of themselves behind. Unable to explain what's going on, Experts haven't ruled out the possibility of alien interference. 
A group of astronomers have come to this shocking realization by comparing surveys taken of the night sky 70 years ago with recent images. This is a project that's taken years to complete, but the team was finally able to announce their initial findings in 2023. They discovered at least 100 stars that disappeared in the blink of an eye. One of the lead researchers is Beatriz Villarroel from the Nordic Institute for Theoretical Physics. It was her idea to start the project when she began wondering if objects had ever vanished from the night sky. Now that the team has all the data, Beatriz has answered her original question only to raise a million more. Objects have indeed vanished from the night sky, but she doesn't know why. Keep in mind that things in space do vanish all the time, but when a star dies, it's supposed to explode in a supernova. Astronomers have been documenting supernovas for over 1,800 years. When a star disappears quietly and without putting on a light show, that defies explanation. Beatriz and her team have put forth two potential explanations. One is that there is a new form of star death that scientists have yet to discover. The other explanation is that the light from these stars is being blocked by advanced civilizations using enormous solar panels. I'm talking about solar panels that are so big that they block an entire star, a celestial object hundreds of times bigger than our own planet. Aliens with triangle heads Are there aliens wandering around the planet with triangular-shaped heads? Actress Goldie Hawn says there absolutely are. The 77-year-old recently admitted that in the 1960s, when she was a dancer working in Anaheim, she had a close encounter of the triangular kind. Goldie claims that she'd just gotten a job as a dancer outside the desert in West California. She'd just finished rehearsal and was about to go to sleep in a friend's car, so this was clearly before Goldie Hawn was famous. As she laid her head down to sleep, the encounter occurred. Suddenly, she heard a high-frequency sound in her ear. It was as if a high-pitched fire alarm was going off inside her head. And that's when she looked out the car window and saw three triangular-shaped heads staring back at her. The aliens were silver and had no ears, but they did have tiny noses in the middle of their faces. All three of them were pointing at her, and yet Goldie Hawn couldn't move a muscle. She was paralyzed. But when she was finally able to move, Goldie said it felt like bursting out of a force field. Then the aliens were gone, as if they'd never been there at all. Was this a real alien encounter or just an episode of sleep paralysis? Mainstream scientists have dismissed pretty much all bedtime alien encounters as being episodes of sleep paralysis. This is something that happens to millions of people, but many don't understand what's happening to them. It's essentially when your body falls asleep before your brain, paralyzing your body but keeping you wide awake as you lucidly dream. It can cause people to see everything from ghosts to aliens while they're in a bizarre hallucinatory state. Trying to wake up feels like trying to burst out of a force field. First you move your fingers, then you burst back into wakefulness, often screaming in the process, and whatever you saw is gone. Have you ever heard of this before? Has this ever happened to anyone you know? Let me know in the comments! Accidentally Murdering Martians NASA scientists may have accidentally killed alien life on the red planet 50 years ago. According to a new hypothesis from astrobiologist Dirk schultz makuch it was an accidental Martian murder. Dirk believes that when NASA carried out experiments in 1976 using their Viking landers, they might have inadvertently killed living microbes in Martian rocks. But how could NASA have killed Martian life without knowing it? It all comes down to the experiments completed by Viking 1 and Viking 2. They carried out four experiments on Mars in the late 1970s. They looked for organic compounds in soil by adding radioactively traced nutrients into the dirt. They also tested for life by monitoring how certain gases changed when exposed to isolated soil samples, gases such as oxygen and nitrogen. The results of the tests were extremely confusing, and they continue to perplex scientists. The results showed that there may have been microscopic organisms in the soil. The gas test hinted that a very subtle form of metabolism was taking place on the ground, but all in all, the results were seen as negative. So they made the announcement that no Martian life was detected. However, Dirk is now saying that they did find life, but the experiments did more harm than good. Because the Viking landers added water to the soil samples during the experiment, 
Dirk thinks the life forms drowned. They were used to life on Mars where it's dry, so the water likely killed them. He also suggested that exposure to chemicals burned whenever microbes were living in the soil. Dirk's not the only scientist that's skeptical of the results. Others have come forward in recent years to suggest that there is indeed life on Mars. One of those scientists is Alberto Fairen from Cornell University. Some of the greatest minds believe that deep in the Martian soil are real microbial life forms and that NASA completely missed them. The Hollow Moon Conspiracy theorists are saying that the moon is hollow. The moon is supposedly a huge and hollow artificial satellite that was put into orbit by aliens. But why? Obviously, they did this so they could live inside the moon like a space station and gather intelligence on the human race. This theory defies conventional science. The official explanation for the existence of the moon is that it was once part of the Earth. But after the planet was hit by a galactic object the size of Mars, it broke off and got stuck in our orbit. Now, though, some people are saying that's ridiculous. One of the supporters of the hollow moon theory is UFO researcher J.P. Robinson. He claims that the moon is so hollow that it will ring like a bell when struck. It's also believed that the Apollo 11 mission in 1969 confirms the moon to be hollow, which is why it seems like governments refuse to return to the lunar surface. While this probably isn't true at all, it does have a nice ring to it and it is getting people's attention. Planet Nine Planet Nine, which is otherwise known as Planet X or Planet Nibiru, is a mysterious world, one that nobody's ever been able to prove exists. Planet Nine supposedly lurks inside our solar system at the very fringe, and people have been talking about it for over 4,000 years. The ancient Sumerians were the first ones to propose its existence. In 2015, scientists at the California Institute of Technology became convinced that the Sumerians were right. Caltech professor Michael Brown proposed that Planet Nine is real and that its mass is affecting the orbits of objects in the Cooper. Nobody has seen the planet through a telescope, but that doesn't mean it isn't real. For decades, scientists have been noticing how large objects in the asteroid belt at the edge of the solar system are moving in an unusual way. There appears to be something very large and very powerful manipulating their paths through space. Whatever this big object is, it has some seriously hefty gravity. Michael Brown suggested that the large object could be the missing Planet Nine. But what did the Sumerians have to say? They called the planet Nibiru, and a theory that's been around for decades is that the ancient Mesopotamians traced the path of the planet across the skies. They even left behind subtle clues of its existence. The reason they knew about the planet was because a race of advanced aliens came from Nibiru and gave cosmic wisdom to the ancient civilization. So, when news broke about a potential hidden planet in the Kuiper asteroid belt, people immediately made the connection between Planet Nine and Nibiru. Michael Brown doesn't believe in the Nibiru conspiracy theories, but he does believe in the scientific reality of Planet Nine. Science shows there could be a real hidden planet that scientists are unable to see. However, whether it contains an advanced civilization, one that's already visited Earth, is yet to be determined. But who knows? Maybe humans came from Planet Nine millions of years ago and forgot all about it. The Hologram It was 25 years ago that Juan Maldacena at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton suggested that things aren't quite what they appear. One shocking new theory was that the universe might be a hologram. He put forth the idea that the four dimensions of our universe are being projected from a lower dimensional surface. Picture it like this. I'm sure you've seen a hologram in a science fiction movie before. From a 2D surface, like a disc, a 3D hologram rises in the air. That's the same idea with the universe hologram theory. Although the universe might appear infinite and forever expanding, that might be nothing but a clever trick. There might be an edge somewhere, something like a two-dimensional boundary with four dimensions encoded onto it. From human telescopes, this would look like the vastness of space. But in reality, space could end at the borders of our own solar system. That's unlikely, but not entirely impossible. So, does this mean that human beings could be living in a simulation like in the Matrix? No, it doesn't. Everything is still real, only two-dimensional. 
The hologram theory is so crazy that it suggests that everything is two-dimensional, even though your eyes are telling you it's three-dimensional. It's really weird and hard to explain. It also wouldn't have any consequences on your current life. If it were ever proven by scientists, nothing would change. The only thing that would be different is that everyone would know that they are living in a giant hologram and are actually as two-dimensional as a sheet of paper. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for extra content you might have missed. Parallel Universe Scientists working with NASA may have just discovered a parallel universe in which time runs backwards. But perhaps the strangest part of all of this is that it was discovered in Antarctica. It all happened while scientists were doing neutrino detection experiments. It's called the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna Experiment, consisting of a helium balloon filled with an array of radio antennas. It was searching for neutrinos when it discovered something strange. There were neutrinos literally coming up through the Earth when the balloon was designed to detect them coming from space. For those who don't know, neutrinos are like ghost particles that flow through just about everything. That being said, neutrinos absolutely shouldn't be coming from inside our own planet. The core is too dense for neutrinos to flow freely through it. Scientists were expecting them to be coming down from space and not up through the Earth. So how is this even possible? This discovery might just change our whole understanding of physics. The parallel universe theory comes from the fact that these neutrinos could potentially be coming from a different reality, something like an anti-universe where time is stretching backwards from the Big Bang. This universe would overlap our own but be upside down, going in the opposite direction. NASA hasn't actually confirmed that there is a parallel universe, but the neutrinos moving in the wrong direction could be a clue that there is more going on in our universe than we know, obviously. It could be some kind of physics mystery, but for now, scientists are at a loss. Alien Artifacts About 60 years ago, a trio of mountaineers discovered something strange in eastern California. The discovery has since perplexed scientists across the world and fueled conspiracy theories that the mysterious object was left behind by alien visitors. The object is a stone-like clump found embedded in rock 500,000 years old. Within the massive stone is an electronic device. This is obviously crazy because human beings weren't making anything electronic 500,000 years ago. Human beings didn't even exist 500,000 years ago. If the device truly is that old, the only logical explanation is that it was left behind on our planet by visitors from outer space. Either that, or it was left behind by an ancient civilization that we have no idea existed right here on Earth. After the initial discovery of the object, the rock was cut in half and the electronic implement was found inside. The piece of metal isn't very large, with a spring at one end of it. It almost looks like a spark plug. It became known as the Coso artifact, named after the mountain range in California where it was uncovered. And while there was a huge amount of speculation over whether the object came from aliens or not, it was eventually identified as a spark plug from the 1920s. But this revelation only created more conspiracy theories, with some claiming that if it wasn't left behind by aliens, perhaps it was from the vehicle of a time traveler who went back 500,000 years. Maybe this time traveler lost one of his spark plugs. Scientists say it is just a concretion, where someone dropped a spark plug and the Earth grew around it and solidified. Either way, something very mysterious is going on here, either very impressive natural processes or something else altogether. Secret Planet The very same astronomer who helped to discredit Pluto as a planet recently unveiled that he believes there is an undiscovered planet in our own solar system that's even bigger than Earth. It's a pretty wild theory, but the astronomer, Mike Brown, does know his stuff. He was the one who discovered the planet Eris, which helped to prove that Pluto did not meet all the criteria for being a proper planet. Take that information as you will. Do you care that Pluto is no longer a planet? What are your thoughts on this? Mike Brown was analyzing oddities orbiting around icy bodies way past Neptune when he realized that there seemed to be something unseen that had these oddities stuck in its gravitational pull. Judging by the pattern of the orbits, the planet would need to be at least 10 times larger than Earth, something that astronomers call a super-Earth. All of the biggest objects beyond Neptune are lined up in the same direction, 
and 3D models show they all seem to be slowly circulating around something huge. The big question here is, why haven't scientists discovered the planet before? It could be that because it's so far away, the planet is hidden by other objects in our solar system. Scientists didn't even believe Brown at first when he started talking about his theory of the secret planet. But now, scientists are taking it very seriously, with many experts keeping their telescopes trained on this specific part of the universe, waiting for the mystery planet to appear. Abducted by Aliens a woman from England claims to have evidence that not only are aliens real, but they abducted her multiple times. She claims that she was only six years old when the aliens first brought her aboard their vessel. Her name is Paula, and she is now 50. She also claims to know the exact number of times the aliens have abducted her in her life, and it's a whopping 52. Her proof of these extraterrestrial kidnappers comes in the way of bruises on her arm. She claims that after each abduction, she's left with a series of strange bruises, probably left behind by the aliens yanking her through their ship. She kept silent about her experiences until just recently, as she feared being criticized and labeled as a crazy person. Her fears weren't unfounded either, as ever since she came forward with this information, she has been labeled a loon and a nutjob. However, Paula isn't surprised. After all, she has admitted that even she can hardly believe her own stories, and so it's no surprise that other people don't take her seriously. As for what her abductions look like, she claims that she is usually locked somewhere in a dark room. There is a mechanical device that looks like a boomerang in front of her with lights coming out of it. Paula also claims that when the abductions happen, the aliens whisk her out of bed straight through her window. Creepy and disturbing. Do you believe Paula? Do you believe in alien abductions at all? Let me know in the comments below. Pyramid Alignment An archaeologist says that he's finally uncovered the secret of the peculiar alignment of the greatest pyramids in Egypt, potentially unlocking secrets of the universe. The biggest of the pyramids, the Great Pyramid of Giza, measures 455 feet on each side. And amazingly, each side is very straight, as if the builders of the pyramid had used professional, modern tools. Even more bizarre is that the pyramid is aligned perfectly along four cardinal points, meaning that two of the sides line up north to south and the other two line up east to west. According to archaeologist Glenn Dash, the pyramid is lined up with the cardinal points with an accuracy just shy of about one-fifteenth of a degree. But it doesn't stop with the main pyramid. Both the largest pyramids at Giza along with the pyramid at Dashur are aligned incredibly well in such a way that you would think only possible by using drones and computers. There has been a lot of speculation as to why the alignments are so perfect. Some say it's because aliens gave Egyptians technology to build the pyramids, while the experts claim they probably used the stars for their alignments. Glenn Dash is now saying that 4,500 years ago, the Egyptians had actually used the equinox to line up their great monuments. The equinox happens twice a year, it's when the equator passes the center of the sun, making day and night about the exact same time. These days have been important to humanity since the beginning of time. The Egyptians most likely did not need outside help from aliens, and instead used the sun to help align their great structures. The Farthest Galaxy Astronomers searching space for secrets of the universe believe that they have just spotted the farthest and oldest galaxy ever witnessed by humans. It's called Galaxy GNZ 11, a pretty boring name for such a mysterious place. Nobunari Kashikawa, a professor with the University of Tokyo, is credited with making the amazing discovery. Just how far away is this galaxy? The professor says it's 13.4 billion light years from us. In other words, it would take us over 13 billion years to reach the galaxy if we were to travel at the speed of light. Determining just how far the galaxy is from Earth was no easy task. Kashikawa and his team had to figure out how much the light from the galaxy is stretched out. The longer it takes light to reach us, the more it becomes somewhat distorted. It's doubtful that GNZ11 is the furthest galaxy in the universe. There are probably still more beyond it though scientists still can't say for sure just how far the universe goes. UFO Crash on Mars An object believed to be a crashed alien spaceship has been discovered on Mars, thanks to archived images from NASA. The object in question is shaped like a disk, 
with a flat surface like a silver plate partially buried in the Mars sand. The object was identified by alien enthusiast Scott C. Waring, who says the crash site is direct evidence that there are indeed aliens out there in the universe. He also says it's evidence that NASA and other organizations affiliated with the government are aware of alien beings and have known about them for quite some time. Then there are the deniers, people who are saying this isn't a spaceship at all and is simply a rock. Considering nobody can actually go to Mars and take a look yet, there is no way to prove exactly what it is. However, it does look an awful lot like an artificial object, something crafted by intelligent life. It could be proof of extraterrestrial life forms touring the galaxy, or it could be nothing at all. The Comet UFO In 2017, a research associate from the astronomy department at Harvard published a paper in which he claimed that humans discovered the first piece of real alien technology and that nobody would admit it. The evidence came in the form of an interstellar object moving through our solar system named Oumuamua, which in Hawaiian means scout. It was first detected by a telescope on the Hawaiian island of Mao on October 19th. At the time, Oumuamua was already leaving our solar system after having just passed by the sun the month before. It entered our system from the direction of the star Vega, swept through like an alien scout ship, and then took off. What's really strange is that astronomers never managed to take a picture of the object. They could only deduce its size and shape by looking at how bright it was. They figure it was about a quarter of a mile across and ten times longer. It looked kind of like a cigar. Weirdly, the comet made some unusual jerking motions as it sailed through space, seemingly as if it was correcting its course. Comets are normally propelled through the vastness of the universe because of evaporating gases that push them along. But in this case, no gas at all was detected, leaving scientists to wonder how exactly it was moving. The conspiracy theory now is that the object was actually an alien craft propelling itself through the solar system. Who was piloting it, where it came from, and just where in the great big universe it's going is still a total mystery. Alien Coffee A new theory has been put forward in which experts are saying that coffee was created by aliens and given to humans. This bizarre theory takes us back 435,000 years to when a group of space travelers known as the Anunnaki, who were spoken of heavily by the ancient Sumerians, came to Earth looking for gold. It was this race of beings who allegedly created humans to mine the gold for them in what is today Ethiopia. To give the humans a bit of inspiration, the Anunnaki handed over the recipe for coffee. They then helped people to create some of the most iconic ancient monuments, from the pyramids in Egypt to the pyramids in Central America. Coffee is such a complicated drink that some say the only possible way for the coffee plant to have been made in the first place was to create a genetic mutant, something only possible today by professional plant breeders. Even more, coffee is unique in that it functions to make humans better and more productive workers. It's no surprise that alien overlords would want their human workers to have more stamina and to be more alert while mining their gold. In the end, nobody can definitively say if coffee was brought to us by the Anunnaki, obviously, but if true, it would mean there is an intergalactic race of gold miners with such advanced technology that they can drop down on a planet and grow their own workforce. Fifth Force of Nature Scientists believe they may have just discovered a fifth force of nature, which would indisputably change how we view the universe. One of the most fundamental laws of physics is that there are four primary forces at work in the universe. These forces are gravitation, strong nuclear forces, weak nuclear forces, and electromagnetism. The fifth force of nature, not to be confused with the movie The Fifth Element, was potentially discovered back in 2015 by experimental nuclear physicists working in Hungary. They were looking for dark photons, particles that would be direct evidence of dark matter, a mysterious substance which scientists say makes up about 85% of our known universe but has never actually been seen by humans. While doing their experiments, the scientists found an anomaly, a light particle 30 times heavier than a normal electron. Jonathan Feng, a UCI professor of physics, says this was not confirmed to be a new force of nature, but that what the scientists witnessed definitely suggests a new particle. The particle had nothing to do with matter or dark photons. 
and so far nobody has been able to explain it. It could very well be a new force of nature that will change how scientists look at the way our universe functions. And who knows? There could be dozens of forces of nature that are still a secret to our modern scientists. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite secret of the universe? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you next time! Bye!